Welcome to the webinar. We're getting started in just a few moments, but while you're waiting, I'd like to give you some tips to get the most out of your webinar experience. Now, streaming live video can take a lot of computer resources and internet bandwidth, so this is not a good time for doing big downloads in the background or anything else that uses a lot of bandwidth on your internet connection. Now, if you're sharing a connection, you might want to ask others on your network to avoid streaming any movies or playing online games, and for best results, turn off any unnecessary computer programs that might be running in the background. Some programs that can really impact the quality of webinar videos are pages that are constantly refreshing, like Facebook and programs that sync files like Google Drive or Dropbox. Make sure you pause those apps. And when you first connect to the webinar, your screen resolution may be very low and that's okay because the video can start at low resolution and gradually increases once your available bandwidth is determined. A few minutes after it begins, your picture should be clear, so just give it about a minute and you'll see your best audio and video. Also note that from time to time, the audio or video feed can get interrupted. So if your image is pixelated or blurry, or if your audio stops, just reconnect by clicking on the reconnect button at the bottom of your screen. And for best enjoyment of this webinar, we recommend the Google Chrome browser. And although the presenter may make this presentation look easy, giving a public speech is the number one fear, so please go easy on them. Please keep your chat conversations, comments, and feedback positive that supports the discussion. And please refrain from distracting the other participants. And if you have a question at any time, click this button to mark your comment as a question so it gets highlighted for the presenter. And feel free to ask questions throughout the presentation as you have them. Your presenter may stop occasionally to answer your questions or they may choose to answer them at the end of the presentation or they may have their moderators respond to you publicly or privately. Now also, do everyone a favor and keep chat related to the topic on hand. And if you have any support issues, make sure to send them as a private message to the host or the moderator by hovering over their name and clicking on the reply icon. And this will allow you to engage in private without distracting other viewers. And here's something you might like. If you find the chat flow too distracting, you can click on this button to mute the conversation. And when you do this, only admin messages will be seen. And you can click this button to toggle it back when you're ready to review and see the entire chat again. Okay, and finally, this is a good time to shut off your Skype, shut off any instant messenger, close down your Facebook, put your phone on, do not disturb, hit the restroom, get yourself some water, get a pen and a legal pad so that you can take notes. So thank you so much for joining the webinar. We're gonna be getting started very soon. Make sure you introduce yourself in chat and let us know who you are, where you live and what you do for a living. See you online.